And for more on this, we're joined by Ivan Yenda Elunga. He's an assistant professor of political science at Salve Regina University in Rhode Island. Thanks for uh, being with us here on France 24. I want to begin by asking you, what impact do you think the Pope's visit had? I mean, let's start with South Sudan, which, as we just saw there, it's gripped by a bloody civil war. Will his presence there have any long-term effect? Great. Thank you for having me. I think definitely uh, his presence will have great impact uh, in the sense that uh, it uh, raised a sense of community and dialogues and the reconciliations. Hopefully, actors who have been very much involved in this uh, ongoing conflict will find the ground for long-term conversations, understanding and uh, transformation for the country. Well, and the Pope had a similar message of peace when he visited uh, the DRC earlier in the week. What do you see as his impact there? Great. Uh, for the DRC, I think uh, one can consider it at three levels. One is a call for good governance. Of course, the Pope mentioned corruptions, mentioned tribalism, and a uh, call for good uh, leadership. The second is, of course, the message of peace, which he called for accountability for all the crimes. And the third, I think it's a more kind of international call for uh, humanitarian considerations and conflicts that the DRC have been very much exposed to for many years. Well, during his trip to DR Congo, the Pope made a concerted effort to reach out to young people to encourage them uh, to resist the temptation, as he put it, um, of corruption. More than two-thirds of Congo's population is under the age of 25. So do you think that his words resonate with the younger generation of Catholics there? Great. Definitely, yes. I think this was not only for Catholics, but uh, for every Congolese uh, who has been uh, wanting to see change. I think uh, the Pope made it clear, and uh, the response, as one can even see on uh, different platforms, social media, uh, very much message resonated. But I want also to add another probably element in this, is that uh, call for uh, responsibility of uh, religious leaders, not only Catholic, but uh, other religious leaders, to, to this uh, important questions of good governance in the DRC, which I think from this time around, uh, they will put uh, their efforts together, strengthen the youth and uh, advocate uh, for sustainable change in the country. Well, so the sexual abuse scandal involving the Catholic Church clergy extends to these two African countries. And during his visit, the Pope was met by protesters who urged him to punish bishops who cover up sexual abuse. Um, what effect has the scandal had on the Pope's influence with the public in these two countries? Well, I would, I would think that uh, these are more kind of questions on human rights uh, uh, observation rather than uh, just uh, singularly to uh, the, uh, the, 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 the leaders of the churches who have been uh, involved in this. But I also believe that to some extent, uh, this is another call to moral responsibilities of the church, which has uh, been degrading over the century or over the years. And I'm sure and I'm hoping that the leaders within the Catholic community will very much reconsider their full responsibility in, uh, in this country and try to promote uh, inclusive human rights. Okay, we want to thank you, Ivan Yende Alunga, Assistant Professor of Political Science at Salve Regina University in Rhode Island. Thanks for being with us here on France 24. Thank you so much for having me.